Hello everyone. Happy Friday to all of you. Welcome back to Let's Build the Worlds. And welcome to the final part of Pam and Paul's. We are going to be in Paul's cottage today, furnishing the shit out of it we are. So we've got quite a bit to do actually. We're not quite a bit. A bedroom, a kitchen, diner and the living area. I've managed to do a little bit off of camera um, and I think you'll be very pleased, very pleased of it indeed. And then next week, what we're going to do is move on to another lot for Let's Build the Worlds. But I'll show you that in game in just a second, actually. So without further ado, no more talking. Let's get into game and I'll show you what we're doing. So here we are, my darlings, back at Pam and Paul's. Oh, it's a very sad cat there. I think he's been listening to the new Adele album like I have been this morning. It's beautiful. <laughs> so good it's i'm such an adele fan such a stan um look at these two out on the bench out on the bench absolutely loving their lives having a good old chinwag look at look at the love in his eyes ah oh, he's absolutely in love with her he is absolutely in love with her so what i was going to say is oh let me just get out of build mode and then we can whiffle up the straight oh my god there's linda there's linda I'm not going to introduce you to all of the characters properly. She was called Sharon in the last one. But you guys reminded me that we already had a Pam and Sharon. And they were a couple. So we've renamed Lin We've renamed Sharon Linda. I love her so much. This is Pam's best friend. She is a hairdresser. I will introduce you to her family as well next week. I have made their family. We ended up making them on stream yesterday. Um, so I will introduce you to them next week. Now, thoughts. This is where we're going to be building next week. We're going to be building here. We're going to be building a row of like harbour cottages inspired by this, which is in Mevagissi in Cornwall, a beautiful area of Cornwall. So we're going to be playing around a lot with the terrain tools and stuff over here and having them kind of out, uh, overlooking the water. I reckon about three or four cottages we're going to do up here with separate families. We've got one family moving in. We've obviously got Imogen and Bo. Um, I think I'm going to do a single sim, an interesting character. Um, and I've, I think I might try and fit another couple in there. I don't know about the sim count just yet, but hopefully I can do that. Maybe. Um, but that's where we're going to be next week. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited about doing that. But for today, my loves, we are here. We are here at Palm and Paws for the final time. For the final time for these wonderful, wonderful characters. Um... So I've done a little bit off of camera. So one of the the bathroom downstairs, the only bathroom, sorry. Um, just very run down, very run down, a bit older. I reckon his like shower broke and he made this himself out of old hose pipe they had on one of his boats and um, fixed it up to the hot water, water um, the hot water, you know, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, all of that kind of thing. Um, I separated his kitchen off. Obviously we had this wall knocked down. That was an original wall there. This is the original wall. So I think what I'm going to do in here is put in like a washing machine uh, and maybe a sink and make this into like a little bit of a utility area. Um, and then obviously have the kitchen in this room here. I'm going to put a dining table here, I think. So I'm only going to do one sort of like um, sofa in the living area. And then upstairs, we've got a spare room going on in here. I'll, I'll talk through that in just a sec. Um, and then obviously his bedroom as well. So how many times am I going to go call Paul Dave in this part today? Hopefully none, but that is what I was doing last time. <laughs> so, things. It's a room that has kind of got forgotten about. Now, this is quite sad, but there's a closet in here, and this is full of Paul's wife's clothes and just some of her belongings and stuff. I reckon he does. he's too sad to get rid of it, so he just locks it away in this cupboard and kind of forgets about it. He hasn't got any children or anything, or they haven't, so... Do you know what I mean? I think he's just holding on to her a little bit. Um, oh. <laughs> you can tell I've been listening to the Adele, Ed, Adele album all morning. I'm feeling a bit sentimental about the stuff I am. Brilliant album, though. If anybody has listened to it out there, let's geek out in the comments together because, wow, such a good album. Such a good album. It really, really is. Anyway, we're making a start in the living rooms by living room. Living? Living? What's living? <sighs> making a start in the living room, we are. Um, So here we are. Yeah. Hello. Friday. Fried egg. Yes. Um, welcome on in. Welcome on in. <laughs> Don't forget my loves. Last week. Next week 
is the last week until my break, my holiday. I'm going away um, from the 29th until the 2nd, I think it is. Let me see. 29. Oh, I can't see my calendar properly. Oh. It's not the second at all. I don't know why I was saying that. 29th until the 7th, which is 7th of December, which is a Tuesday. So that is the day that I will be back. I'm fully recharged and ready to roll. Um, but as I said, I just need a little break, loves. I haven't had a holiday in quite a while. So I'm giving myself some time off. Um, and there'll be no pre-recorded videos or anything in that time either. Um, it will just, yeah, it would. my channel would be stagnant. <laughs> stagnant it will. But um, I know you all understand. It's just something I've got to do. And I think more creators out there should do it. Um, I'm going to use this. I know I use this rug to death. But what? What? why is that lifting up? Well, because of the platform. Because of that ghastly platform. Um, right, we'll flop you there then if you're going to lift up, you piece of shit. <laughs> we'll keep you there. I think we're going to do... I might put it at a little bit of an angle if this platform will allow that. Just so it looks a little bit like disheveled, like he hasn't touched it in a while. I mean, that's not much of an angle laden, is it, to be honest with you? But it did make me feel better then. It really did. Um, is that floating? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Sims. Just get down to the floor. Get down. Is that down? I think so. No, it's not. It's floating. <sighs> Don't fuss with me today. Seriously. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> from, from listening to Adele. Uh, I've still got a boyfriend. <laughs> I'm not going through anything any of that heartbreak <laughs> but I know what that heartbreak feels like you know so, so yes oh beautiful album favorite songs mm, favorite songs sorry I'm going back to my phone again but we're having a chat you know this is going to be a long video today anyway so we may as well go in for the long haul um I did buy the vinyl but I've downloaded it on Spotify as well um cry your heart out I love that one. Oh my god and I think To Be Loved as well was some of my favourites on there. Oh, oh, it's a treat for the ears. It really is. I love that woman. I love her. I love her. Right, we're going to have a matching chair. I reckon it was a three-piece suite. I'm going to do two of them. I'm going to put two here. I reckon they both used to sit in this chair together. I reckon these were their chairs. Oh. <laughs> Full on crying of over some Sims. <laughs> I can safely say it. I've never cried over some Sims. <laughs> but that does not mean to say that is a bad thing if you have. All right, loves? Just saying. Right. The reason I was pulling this away is because I kind of wanted a bookcase there. Maybe. Yeah, I, I've just had a thought in my head. I think he, this was her chair. I'm going to put it up here because he doesn't open this anyway. I'm going to put it up here. Right, there's some of his shoes there. So I'm going to put her chair up here. Maybe it's a bit too painful for him to have down in the the living room with him. So he keeps it up here, but he doesn't want to get rid of it because it smells like it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, Adrian. Not on a Friday. Not on a Friday. Not on any day, to be honest. But especially not on a Friday. Anyway, so. Ooh. Yes, I'm thinking. Oh, the colour. I mean, we're not matching wood tones, but that is just taking the piss. That is taking the piss. Absolutely taking the piss, that. Um, actually, now I've just bought it out after seeing those other ones. That's not too bad, is it? <laughs> Let's use this one. I'm going to whiffle this into shape. Yes. Don't forget, this is a very kind of like rundown house. Um, so it's definitely not going to be the most beautiful of houses to see. But that's not what we're here for for this series. Well, some of them are going to be. So we're going to do some beautiful houses. Um, I've got like lots of ideas. We're going to do like a... I do want like a lady living in this area. A lady and a lord. So we're going to be doing that kind of business. Um, and I also really want to do like a vacation home that belongs to some rich Londoner. Because they like to buy houses down in Cornwall and hike everybody's fucking house prices up. But you know, that's just me. That's just me saying my opinions. Um... <laughs> <laughs> sorry i don't know where that come from <laughs> but um but yeah we're gonna do that as well and um, probably a modern build as well probably a modern like cliff top build uh i don't know where just yet but that's not for a while yet anyway um do i want to use that i don't think so because of the sheer size of it maybe if i sized it down yeah that's better i'm gonna turn it that way now it's sized down 
Beautiful. Oh, yes. And we can put a lamp on top of that. Just like a real old-fashioned lamp. Uh, let me find one. There we go. That one there. I've moved it down with the tool mod as well. So it kind of just sits on top of them very deliciously. Um, I'm for that. Now, I think behind here, I know we've got lots of like nautical paintings from the Cats and Dogs pack. I think these are going to come into fruition throughout this whole series, to be honest with you. I'm probably going to have multi multiple houses with the same prints in, but what more can be said apart from Sims, you know? So maybe we'll do Dave's dad, because I know there's well, like a sailor looking person here. Oh, I wanted that. Yeah, that one. That's Dave's dad. Dave's dad and his cat. His cat was called Pussy Winkles. <laughs> it was. It was called, it was called Pussy Winkles. I've decided now. So Dave's dad and Pussy Winkles. <laughs> Why does that sound like a drag name? Um, I'm here for it. I really am. Won't lie. Um, I don't know, maybe I should do. Two. I was going to put sconces behind here, but maybe I'll do two paintings instead. That looks too American. Um, yeah, like there's something like that. We can size that down as well. How much was that? That was expensive, wasn't it? Um, so I'm going to flop you to about here. Let me just whiffle you along to about there, my love. No, that doesn't look right. No, I think I will. I do want to use this painting somewhere. Uh, maybe up in the bedroom. We'll flop it up there for the minute. Um, but I think I'm going to do some sconces beyond here. But just turn down the brightness on them because I like the lighting in this room. I want it to be a bit... I've actually dimmed down this house slightly more than what Pam's is. So I'm going to do that. Um, Sconce-wise, probably using the same ones as what we used back here because they're kind of old-fashioned Lily of the Valley sconces. Um, so let's um, whiffle these up into shape. I'm going to put one there and then I'm going to plop. Maybe plop one there. Plop. <laughs> no, I do, I do want them either side here. I don't know what I'm going on about. There we go. And let's um, just turn down the brightness on those as well. Lovely. And you as well. Uh, excuse me, please. Thank you. And there we go. Yeah. Yeah, that still kept, kept that lighting. Yeah, no, cool. I'm happy. Happy with that. Coffee table needed in here. I'm going to pull out some logs and stuff, I think, for the fire. Um, Maybe like an old pallet coffee table. But I know this is massive, but I still, again, I could size it down. Isn't there another like pallet looking one? Oh, yeah, it's that one, but I don't think that would. I don't know. I, don't, I kind of prefer that one in here, actually, because I know the swatches on this and they're disgusting. So, yeah, I might go for this one instead. An old pallet coffee table. Beautiful. I think he's a bit of a messy bugger as well, so I might get some beers and stuff out and a pizza box. Um, and we'll get some logs. So let me go and grab those objects and we'll just plop them around. There we go. Just messed the place up a bit. I've put a few. I reckon he likes a bit of cider. So we're going to say it's called Suspicious Fizz, this. And, susp and, sus and cider is to me a suspicious fizz because I can't fucking stand it. I f <gasps> Even the smell of cider. I mean, I've said this many times, but it is no, absolutely not. Not for me. Absolutely not for me. Now, I can't be asked to knock down any walls here because it's just going to be infuriating. So I'm going to use this instead. I might even size it up. I might size it up. Let me just see how big that is sized up. Uh, and do you fit there without me having to whiffle you? Oh, that's a bit big. I'm going to size it down a little bit more. There we go. I've sized it up a 1.3 with a tool mod. That's a bit better, isn't it? Oh, excuse you, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, beautiful. Loves it absolutely here for it and i do want to use i do want to use that little oh, i might even do a record player down here but i'm going to put some cobwebs over it get ready for some more sadness um i reckon paul can't listen to music anymore because it was his wife's favorite thing was getting her records out listening to some tunes and now that she's gone this just stays stagnant <laughs> I'm here to make you cry today. I thought I just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> just, just thought I'd let you know, darling. It's all right. So I'm gonna put a little cobweb on it. Oh, oh my god, that's perfect. Oh, we can't size these down though, so that's gonna be a bit of a bugger. Oh please. Oh, you're not gonna go there, are you? Oh damn. That would have been so good if that hit the top there. What about if I use the tool mod and try and size it down? Let me. I've never tried that. Let me see if that happens. I did absolutely fuck all. 
No, the tool mod doesn't even work on the size down. So maybe if I like whiffled this a little bit further forward. There we go. <gasps> there we go. Oh, that tells a story. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's all I've got to say on the matter. Um, that painting that I was going to use up here, maybe I could put that above here instead now. Yes, we'll pop that above here. Um, and I reckon, I reckon that's Dave. I reckon, I just said Dave. <laughs> At this point, we should just rename him. No, <laughs> we're not. I reckon that's Paul and his wife. His wife seeing him come home from sea when he's been out fishing in the early days. And a local artist, a local Cornish artist, saw that and painted them. And gave it to him as a wedding present. <gasps> storylines. Absolute fucking storylines. I'm for it. I really am. Anyway, so we need, we need a, a, a long table here. Maybe this one actually would work well in this room. Let me see you. Let me see what the vibe. Yes. This one here. I'm going to flop you above there. Lovely. And then I am going to put some flowers up here. But maybe some dried flowers. So it looks like he hasn't changed them in quite a while and they've just gone dead. <laughs> and maybe Pam got Paul some flowers for his birthday or something. Just to cheer him up because he always gets a bit sad on his birthday. Always gets a bit sad. So where are those dry flowers? There they are. I thought I was going to have to go away and try and find them. But they're here. Um, they look a bit... Oh, oh. Calm yourself down. Um, I don't think the flowers changed. No, the... Yeah, we'll do that. They still look fresh. And you know what? We'll keep that. It's fine. There isn't really any like dead looking flowers quite gladly because of... <gasps> that one. That one looks a little bit sad, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll use that one. Oh no, I forgot about the swatches on it. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that one instead. <laughs> we'll do that one. Uh, and we need to litter this place with just a few little um, decorative um objects clutter objects even so maybe some oh i just saw oh yes like a stack of papers some bills i just saw some bills then is that bills important paper clutter um no i want there was a stack of bills i saw them direct from fans letters by the pile oh a strangerville note what's that about i've never seen that before oh that's cool it doesn't go up there though so i'm not going to do that no nope, i think that's a shopping list as well shopping list but we'll put the letters of course we won't put it next to that because sim snap points i'm going to size them down there because i don't think they're going to fit in there unless i size them down right there we go lovely yes yes i'm feeling that vibe and maybe just like a a stack oh i could even just do some books there just in case he can't can't get to this he's still got an option to be able to get some books so let's go in here and i'll just grab a stuff oh, let's get rid of bloody debug debug and live edit go away not forever though because i love you and you make building in the sims much more fun right there we are yeah just something like that absolutely for that don't know what we're gonna do there just yet no idea. We'll think about that. But I think what we need to do is try and squeeze a dining table in here. But the, again, with this dining table, I don't want it to be usable. I'm going to put a dining table. Um, I was going to do a sink there, actually, wasn't I? Maybe I could still do a sink, like a sink there. Then there'd be two sinks. Now, nah, do you know what? I'm still going to stick to one single table, one single chair. Um, and this dining table is just going to be unusable because there's going to be too much stuff on top of it. Yes, it is. So I want a small-ish dining table. Um, do you want to use a round one? Yeah, maybe. Let's use one of these. What's that wood tone like in here? Um, that's not bad. I mean, I know I'm not trying to match wood tones in, but I am. <laughs> but I am. Yeah, let's use this one. With two of those chairs. Um, the older ones with the cushions on. Where are you? Here they are. What color do you come in there? I mean, that's very purple. I mean, we're not looking to be matchy-matchy in here. It says me who's trying to match everything in. But I still want it to look semi-okay. Uh, maybe I could go like a little bit lighter with that then. That's a bit better. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. And then I'm just going to put loads of shit on here as well. In fact, do you know what? I'm going to use the same thing. I'm just going to change the color. I'm going to use that book thing. And flop that on top there. Size it down. Whiffle it up. Hopefully it doesn't float. I don't think that's floating. 
Oh, I was right. And then changed the color of it to the green. Yes. So that is like practically unusable, really. Yeah, I'm for that. I think back here we'll put like a broom and stuff on the wall. So let me grab that wherever that may be. Because I, I never know where that is either, darlings. There we go. Found it. And I've put some boxes behind here as well. Just for a bit more clutter. Gave Keith his bed in the room too. I've also put some marks up on the walls. We put a grandfather clock over in that corner there. I just thought it suited this room. But um, yeah, some logs as well. Some logs for the fire. Yeah, I think this should suffice for uh, Paul's living room. I'm feeling it. Really am. Okay, let's move on to the kitchen. So I've obviously already pulled out this here and a few objects. But I just feel the vibe coming through with this. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Yes, I am indeed. Um, I think we'll probably do the same kind of shape as what we've done here, to be honest with you. Uh, so did I go all the way along there? I didn't. I put a fridge like around there. Well, I did not put a fridge on the other side, but I'm going to put a fridge on this side here. Um, oh, God, I got rid of that. I didn't mean to. Let's get the grid on. Let's sort the kitchen out first. So that one, I'm going to do the oven there. We're going to do a corner piece in here. Lovely. I'm going to do the sink there, the washing machine there. No, I'm going to put the washing machine in there, aren't I? So we don't have to worry about a washing machine in here. Okay, well, this will give me enough room to put a bin in then because I was getting a bit worried. I was getting a bit worried. So I can do the sink right by the window. I think I'm going to do the sink on that side, actually. I can put a bin there. Beautiful. Did, um, yeah, it did come with a sink, didn't it, this kitchen? Uh, so let's have a little whiffle. I think it's that awkward one, though, that doesn't fit into anything, isn't it? I never know what colour this one is. It's not the pink one, Aiden. It's not that. Uh, let's just get that in there, and then I can decide on what colour it is. Um, oh, it's that one. <clears throat> okay. I just hate the way it, like, blocks the window. I do. But I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah, we're going to leave it like that. They can't, they can't be afford to fussy in these cottages. You know, they're very small. Very small, dude. Um, yeah, we'll do that all the way to there. I think I'm going to get the same fridge. The same, like, woodeny looking older fridge. But I'm going to give it a bit more of a... Yeah, we'll go for a white in here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got this, like, white creamy vibe going on in here. Um, let's choose the cupboards as well, then. Now, again, the matching cupboards with this um, are infuriating. So I don't think we're going to be doing... We used a lot of the smaller ones there, didn't we? Okay, so is it this colour? Are you the matching one? You are. So I'm going to whiffle a corner piece up like that. We'll do some smaller little whifflies there. Oh, that's plates. I mean, that makes sense. It's above the sink. Why not? Um, What are you? I'm, I mean, I could fit you somewhere. I'd probably want to put you at the end or something above the... Yeah, above there. That's a good idea. Well done to me. Um, And then come out there, please. Let me whiffle this one. Another one of those there. I mean, that's not too bad. I am going to have to do another plate one above the uh, oven. But I don't mind that. That's fine. That's fine. The oven's not there, though, Aiden. It's there. <laughs> oh, where are you going? I'll tell you. Yes. Yeah, and I'm probably going to use the same... Oh, I'll probably even use exactly the same oven as what we've got going on there. Because it will match in well with the colour scheme in here. Yes. I do reckon he likes to cook. Oh, I don't like these. I don't like these at all. Do we have like a, a colour that would fit okay in here? Not really, do we? Not really at all. I mean, what about if we just didn't have that there? You know, it was just that moment on the top there. Yeah, I'm going to vibe with that. I'm going to absolutely vibe with that. Yes. Yeah, that's the ticket. Okay, and then a bin into this corner here. Um, Again, using this bin because it's my favourite. And it just fits in well into any kitchen. Modern, contemporary, whatever you like, you know. I'm here for it. That's nice. It's quite a big, like, kitchen because we haven't got as much stuff um, going on. It is quite a nice big kitchen. Okay, okay. Right, washing machine. 
Come on through. Come on down, if you will. Thank you. Oh, I've lost myself. Where am I? I'm here. I'm going to put the washing machine here. Like that. And then I'm going to do... Have we got a fold table for memory? No, I don't think we did. I, think, I know we've got foldy chairs. I was definitely vibing with a foldy chair in here. I could have sworn we had a foldy table, but we don't. Um, Let me sit on my legs a minute. No, we don't. Hmm. Okay. Why did I think that we had like a small folding table? Oh, it's this. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, no, that's not small, Layden. That's big. That's big. I thought it was a smaller version of that. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. I'm probably going to use like a... Yeah. Oh, maybe... Oh, no, the swatches on that. Yeah, the swatches are bad. Ugh. Like that. <laughs> Annoying. Um, I'm probably just gonna use that one there then. We we'll use this one. Yeah. Oh, the yellow. What did I use in there? I didn't know you use yellow in there. Good. Okay. I don't want it to be copied. That's all. And I'll flop that to there. And I reckon this is where he eats his dinner. I reckon he eats his dinner in here. Uh, I think on the wall, like the wall. Oh. I think we'll use the laundry day like stuff oh in fact i've used it upstairs haven't i in here i just thought like this like matched in with this room but isn't there another version of this there we go this one maybe i can use this because it has got like a semi kind of matching color let me see oh yes yes indeed even though let me get rid of that i know that this is going to go into the ceiling of course it is um so i'm going to whiffle it down a little bit more like that Beautiful. Some cleaning products on the top there. Um, I might even do a place set. No, no, I don't think you would have a place setting, to be honest. Um, and I'm going to pull out a few objects, actually. A few objects that I think would just match in with this room very well. And we'll start placing them around together. I've pulled out a few beautiful things that I think would work well in here. Uh, including this extractor. I kind of want it to go up a bit higher, but... No, that should be fine. I thought it was going to cut into there a bit too much no that's good that's a good spot for it we need to make sure to leave one working space so they don't get confused now i thought this bread bin here maybe imogen made this for paul when she was young and he's always kept it um for that storyline i've made imogen and paul close as well um along with um along with linda and her family like imogen has got like good relationship with uh linda's daughter um son sorry um, and all of that kind of business. And I'm for that. I really am. Right, bread bins. Oh, we've got two bread bins. Oh, we'll get rid of that one then. I would rather have Imogen's storyline in here, to be honest. Oh, maybe I could put that next to it. Maybe I could pop that next to it. Yeah, stunning. Yeah, we'll do that then. Then I'll... Oh, are you going to be cutting? Oh, no, you're not. I thought that was cutting in then. It's actually not. It's okay. Okay, I'm for that. I was thinking about maybe just putting a few stains behind this oven just so it doesn't look like the the nicest, the cleanest it could possibly be. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. I'll just add it in behind the air. He loves his chips, so he's always frying chips. Now, I would, I would, I would say he goes to the fish and chip shop to get his chips, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest with you. I would. Um, so I'm going to do that absolutely gonna do it right and then here i think some kind of yeah, a spoon but maybe not there's like a a weird like yeah beigey sort of tone that would suit it a bit more it's not beige but you know what i mean um i've pulled out this rug is here um this rug here as well i think i'm just gonna plonk this into the middle of the room here and put uh keith's food bowl down there i've also changed the bin i changed the bin for that one there and sized it down i think they can still use it like that um, and I've used this. I didn't want an open bin with like, um, kind of like utensils like above it. Bit smelly that, bit smelly. And then in here, I pulled out a Welsh dresser. Beautiful dresser. Um, I've put a food, a, <coughs> a meal for one there as well. Uh, is there a snap point in there? Oh my God, there is. Oh, they, 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 they certainly know how to treat you sometimes, don't they? <laughs> the Sims tape. <laughs> I'm going to pop that up there and keep the towels down there then. Um, let's turn them because they were cutting in. 
pair, some shoes, some of his shoes down the floor here. Um, another pint of his um, cider there as well. I just think that, yeah, I think that suits. That's a nice... You see what I mean? This one looks a bit more homely, a bit more put together, a bit more colour. This one's just a bit more flatter, a bit more sadder looking. And I'm for that storyline in this particular place. Um, nice. Okay. Well, we're going to move upstairs to the last room. I think what I'm going to quickly do off of cam is just put some stuff out here as well. Um, but then we'll get into Paul's bedroom and we will furnish his room too. Okay. Hallway done. Just put loads of stuff underneath of here. Maybe this is all of his like tackle boxes and stuff of all of his fish and shit in. Um, I've also pulled out uh, another linen closet here for him. A little boat, an unopened package, just for storylines. Um, so we're going to start in his bedroom. So I was thinking this bed, but I was just going to have a look to see if I could darken down the actual bed frame. But I don't think it does. I think it stays in that kind of... T oh no, there we go. Oh, that's better. Yeah, we'll use that one. We'll use that one. We're going to flop this one into place here. Yes, I think so. Lovely. Um, Just so it's like kind of opposite that bit. We're going to do two side tables. I'm thinking maybe just something a little bit more. Not like this kind of vibe, but maybe. Oh, this would work. Yeah, this would work in this room. Um, I'm going to just keep them at the same height as well. Same height, same size as well. So I don't have to fuss around with trying to size them down. Um, I'm going to use those. Maybe they bought these lamps all together. Like a little vintage shop or something. Because I think these will go in this room as well quite nicely. Where's the bed gone? <laughs> Where the fuck's the bed gone now? Yes. Yeah, something like that. I do enjoy it. I'm going to whiffle this into shape a little bit more here. Beautiful job. Oh, Stella. Absolutely Stella. Um, and I think I'm just going to do one wardrobe in this room. I reckon when the wife passed, there was two wardrobes, but he pulled that wardrobe down. Couldn't bear to get rid of her stuff. Chucked it in that closet over there and just left it as it is. But maybe he still keeps her like vanity table. Oh, I kind of like that storyline as well. Yeah. And I kind of like that swatch in here as well. I think I'm going to go for that green swatch. Let me just have a little whiffle through the others a sec. No, I'm going to go for plain, actually. Yeah, because then it can't, it's like it stays in keeping with the house. I reckon this house was a lot more well looked after. Um, looked a lot more prettier when the wife was alive. But yeah, sadly, she's not. Uh, uh, <laughs> me earlier. <laughs> Me earlier listening to Adele. <laughs> um, oh, I, I hate the swatches on this. I wish this came in like a, just a nice plain swatch without the bloody flowers on it. But it doesn't. And the other tones. I mean, we could use that. We could use that. But we need some more wardrobes that just look like older style wardrobes. Like everything's very themed and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, and... Like, there's no, like, decent odour wardrobe that you can just get. None at all. Absolutely none at all. This, like, again, for this, is just over the top. Like, I'd never use that anymore just because of how it looks in game. Um, but I used to use that to death back in the day for my odour builds. But, um, but yeah, we'll use this one. We'll use this one in here. Beautiful. That's in a good spot there, that is. That is in a good spot. Uh, I think I'm going to put a chair in the corner. I might do one of those high wing back numbers. High wing back numbers. That, or I could use one of these. Or I could use one of these in here. But can we flatten that colour down as well? Oh, they're all quite bright. They're all quite bright. No, we'll go for that that wing back. Where are you though? Yeah, we use that colour as well. I've just cycled through the swatches. But um, I think this colour is going to set in quite well. That colour reminds me of Beryl because that is Beryl's chair. Beryl's chair less yes yeah no that's cute i do like that I do like that i am gonna do a uh a side table underneath well not a side table a hall table trinket whatever a buffet table i think i'm gonna do one of these underneath of here as well underneath of the but i would like it to look like it's got some storage in it perhaps uh, and the only one we've kind of got for that is that one that i've used downstairs as well like this one so I don't really want to do that again. Oh, actually, I forgot about you. 
Oh, yes, we'll do that. Um, let me see, because that one would match that one. It would. Okay. Let me whiffle that into place. I'll bring this out a tad here. Wouldn't be nice to put a lamp behind there, but we've already got a lamp there. So we won't be doing that. I'm going to pull that in a little bit more there. So it looks like they could use this quite easy. Yes. For it. Absolutely for it. Oh, I also pulled out an old ship's wheel as well and put it in the garden. I just thought that was a nice little decorative piece for Paul. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I don't want too much in here, to be honest with you. I don't want... I, I don't think he... The only place... He comes up here to sleep and that's about it. Um, So let me just pull out a few more objects just to br lift this place a little bit more. You need to come up. Thank you. Um, Just lift this place up a little bit more and um, I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I'll just put in a few more detailing objects. Um, Cobwebs, a little bit of laundry going on, some... um. Bathroom bits, some cleaning stuff to clean his fireplace out. Um, laundry, laundry basket, mirror, little book, some marks on the wall behind the bed. I've also put Keith's bed up here as well. I reckon Keith sleeps in the bed with him, but we can't do that in The Sims. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Boxes, jug, clothes, you know? What would a room be without them, to be honest? So I think this this house is done as well. So we need to do a little tour of this as well, my darling. So this is Keith's cottage. Complete and finished. I will make sure this is up on the gallery for you guys to go and download. Um, lovely. This is his little back garden area. Look at those two. Can't get over it. Keith's having a munch there. Bless him. Um, so he's got a food bowl outside as well. He's got a food bowl outside. It's because he gives him all the fish guts when he gets back from fishing. So we'll come in this way. So we've got the kitchen. Lovely little cottage kitchen. It's skanky, but, but but Paul likes it that way, you know. Into the living room. Um, Again, not the tidiest of places. And not the most attractive of places either. But um, is that gone under as well? Yeah, I need to lift up that fireplace. No, I haven't. It hasn't, but it has. What? What are you doing? One second. What's going on here? Oh, for goodness sake. Is that going to go through the ceiling now? Hopefully it doesn't. No, it shouldn't because there's a platform there. I'll sort this TV out. Don't you worry. I'll sort that out um, because that was in the ground for some reason. Um, so, yes, over here, we've got the little trinkety area as well full of crap. Grandfather clock. Um, bathroom in here with clothes on the floor. Hopefully it can get in there. I'll make sure to player test everything before this goes up on the gallery. Upstairs we go. Very tight spaces in these little cottages. Little landing. Um, we've got a spare bedroom going on in here. Um, I reckon his wife loved that. Loved that painting, but he can't look at it anymore. So he, jumped, he, he just dumps it in there. Um, and then obviously the room we've just done, which is this bedroom as well. Very cute indeed. So these are going to be up on the gallery, my sweets. Pam and Paul's cottages are finished. Very nice indeed. I, I, yeah, I really enjoyed building these. Very much did. But I'm very much looking forward to getting on with that new build for next week. So keep an eye out for that, my darlings. And um, that's probably going to be coming on Monday, to be honest with you. So yeah, I'll be back with that on Monday. Um, but I'm going to leave you now. Have a lovely weekend, whatever you get up to. Get some lovely comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.